So, do you feel a sense of relief that you know it, that if you have like this idea that, of having the baggage or burden, like personal history, none of it's about you. It's not about you. You can relax. You can relax. It's okay to feel good about yourself, it's, which which is what relaxing is. Because feeling good about yourself, if, if it's a if it's like a grind. If it's a should, then that's not what I mean. It just happens. You just relax, and that demonstrates it. Even if this baggage, you know, means there's stuff in your life that has to get cleaned up, that's just activity. There's no law that says if, because you have stuff you have to clean up, that you have to think thoughts about yourself that make you feel bad. You know, there's no law that says you have to do that. But what about the baggage? What about, what about it? it? You just deal with it for what it is. It doesn't mean anything about you. It doesn't require you to punish yourself. But how do you get rid of it? <laughs> well, I don't. I, you'll have to tell me more about what it is you want to get rid of. I mean, if it's, a, if it's a bunch of old tires in your garage, you know, yeah. call it a, a, a yard hauler. That's how you get rid of them. You know, if it's, if it's a obsessive thinking and you want to get rid of that, then, you know, there's several ways, you know, you can just stop. Or if you can't seem to figure out how to just stop, you can... Uh, ask yourself, what do I get out of keeping it going? What would I lose if I did just stop? And then you'll find out beliefs, which always, when they're debilitating, include the notion that it's about you. Because you don't have to believe in the law of cause and effect. If you're involved in beliefs, you're not, you're not paying attention to the law of cause and effect. You just made two statements, and I only jotted down one of the two. Okay. You said, what do, what do I get out of keeping this going, and then yeah. what was the second one? What would I lose if I did let it go? What would I lose? You know, so a, lot, a lot of what comes up when I ask people that, uh, they'll say, well, you know, I, I'm not sure what my mother might say, or my, what my friends might think of me, you know, that kind of stuff. Again, you know, a, a big way that we inflict harm on ourselves is worrying about what other people think. Being accepted. Wanted to be accepted. Yeah. Because it's never about the other people. Worrying about what other people think of you is what you think of you. 